Guess what standing in line at Micro Center for over two hours gets you? A 3060! What's up guys, welcome back to another Geek, Geek video. And today I will be reviewing the Asus Tough 3060. It's one of the overbuilt 3060s, but it's all I can get my hands on. And without any further ado, let's begin. So now, let's just get to unboxing. So as I open this flap up, we open this up right over here, and we take out our second box. Just uh, to the side over there. So as we open this up, just like a lot of other GPUs, we take this foam piece away, put it over there, we don't need that right now. It's about the GPU. So this is the Asus Tough 3060. It's a pretty big GPU, so as I take this out, we have our big, massive GPU. Then we remove this foam. And we have a couple more things. We have a thank you letter from Asus for buying this GPU. We have a certificate of reliability. Tough cards are built with an all automated process and they use high quality capacitors and that. So it's just a certificate telling you this is one quality GPU. We have a manual and seems like in Spanish. Then we have this Asus speed setup. I swear I've seen this thing for like the past five years on every single computer part. And my favorite thing, the tough gaming Pokemon card. So I don't know, it's pretty cool. I'm gonna keep this. Now, let's review the GPU. All right, now before we start to review the GPU, it's peel time. Start with over here. All right, now let's talk about some of the aesthetics of this GPU. So first of all, it has a gun metal kind of look to it, not like most GPUs, which are either black or maybe white. The center of the fans, first of all, they have the Tough logo, they have the Asus text over here, they have the Tough logo again. And over here we have Tough Gaming, and right above that we have some RGB. We have a small RGB strip here, and a tiny RGB thing over here. So it's not very, it's not much RGB, but if you're into that thing, you like this card. And all of the RGB is controllable through Asus Aura. All right, now let's move on to some of the technical specs of this GPU. First off is on the Ampere architecture. It has 12 gigabytes of GDDR6. It might be a bit weird because the 3070 and 3080 have eight and 10 gigabytes, but this has more. I'll talk about this a little bit later. The boost clock on the OC mode is 1,882 megahertz. It has 3,584 CUDA cores, and it's on a 192-bit bus. The bus reason is why this has 12 gigabytes and not six or eight or 10. Now let's move on to some of the visual specs of this GPU, and the, or the stuff that you actually care about. So first of all, we have an eight-pin power connector. The website says it needs 750 watt power supply, but I would recommend 650 watts because it's not that power hungry. You can even run like a 3080 on 650 watts if you really want. This is a two slot card, but you want to make sure that your case supports three or three or four slots just to have the extra airflow and to make sure it even fits. And it has a dual BIOS mode, so a performance mode and a quiet mode. Again, I would always recommend performance mode because this GPU is already going to be quiet because it has three fans and the 3060 doesn't really need this big of a heatsink. And now let's move on to some of the back I.O. So first off, we have two HDMI ports and we have three display ports. It's pretty standard, I'm not really surprised, but it'll fit most of your needs. So why exactly did Nvidia choose to put 12GB of GDDR6 on this? 
because the 3070 has 8 gigabytes and the 30 has, 3080 has 10 gigabytes. So it doesn't really make sense for the 3060 to have 12 gigabytes. So first of all, they did this to compete with AMD because each of their cards has 16 gigabytes of VRAM. And since they didn't want to reduce the memory bus width to 128 bits, which, which would reduce the performance of the card by a lot, they kept it under, at 192 bits, but at a 192 bit bus, they could only allow six or 12 gigabyte variants on the card. And of course they went 12 gigabytes because it didn't cost them that much more, I'm guessing, and it allowed them to compete with AMD. Now let's talk about some of the cooling that this GPU has. So this 3060 has some pretty nice cooling on it. Let's, let's talk about it. First off, we have three fans, which is a bit overkill, but it's all I can get my hands on. And it, each of these fans have an axial technology, which basically means that it will center the air so that it, it creates more pressure and it'll cool the heatsink more effectively. And by the way, all these span, fans actually stop spinning if the temperatures are under 50 degrees Celsius, which means that if it's not under load, it won't spin, which could increase the lifespan of these fans as well as decreasing noise. And I couldn't find this on the manufacturer's website, but it looks as if there are five heat pipes coming off of the cold plate. And about the cold plate, it's they Asus boasts it's a max contact heatsink so that it has better dissipation for the heat dissipation for the GPU itself. And also moving on to the back, what I'm really happy to see is that there's some flow through cooling for better cooling, obviously. So let's talk about some of the extra features that the GPU has. So first of all, since it's a tough card in tough fashion, all the MOSFETs, the capacitors and chokes and all the power delivery is really high quality so that you get the best overclocking experience. And moving on with that, to actually overclock your GPU, you have the application called GPU Tweak 2, which lets you tune your graphics card. Now about pricing, this GPU I got for around 520, which is a bit high, but it has those three fans and it's a really good cooler and it's all I could get my hands on. It's a good GPU, it's a, it's a bit pricey, but yeah, that wraps it up. It's a really good GPU and I would recommend it for all your builds with a 5600X or 5800X. And now let's move on to the outro. I hope you guys enjoyed this overview and unboxing of this ASUS Tough 3060. It's an absolute massive GPU with three fans and I can't wait to use it in a new 3060 5600X build I'm gonna be doing soon. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, comment, share this video, and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you next time.